about that time. What time, you ask? It is about that time for EA Sports to start to show some gameplay for NBA Live 20. By the way, <laughs> I know you see the merch, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can definitely get your own. I'll leave the link in the description below. But anyway, as we all know, EA Play is only two months away, and that only means that in two months, we'll be seeing footage of NBA Live 20. And since we'll be seeing footage of NBA Live 20, there's two different types of footage that we will get. One being this cell phone footage that people try to capture on a sneak tip, on the low, and stuff like that. And two, stuff that I will be able to release is actual gameplay on-screen captured gameplay. Now given that we're that close to actual gameplay, we are super close to actual gameplay, there are things that we're gonna expect. We're gonna expect different modes, we're gonna expect different types of ways to play the game. More than likely, this will be the event that EA actually shows their newest, most dynamic mode. Now the last two years, the biggest mode that they've actually promoted both times is the one. And the one has gotten better both years that it's actually been out. So I definitely see a similar approach to how they're gonna actually do things this year at EA Play. Difference being, rumor has it that this should be another leap in gameplay, just like 16 to 18. It actually should be even bigger than that based on what I've heard, can't say specifically, but for what I heard, it's gonna be something great. And given the news of Real Madrid actually opening up a studio and actually working on NBA Live 19, I don't see that it's too far-fetched for NBA Live to be a lot better than it was for NBA Live 19. Now, I don't want to get you guys' hopes up too high, but I'm definitely expecting the game to be just as good, if not better, than NBA 2K. Especially given the complaints that have been had about NBA Live 19 this year, I feel like EA Sports is going to take a similar approach to what they have done, but also tweak some things to cater to all audiences, seeing that that hasn't been the formula in the past. And as I've stated, I'm probably going to be at EA Play. So if I'm there, I'm trying to get as much footage as I possibly can so I can display the game in the best light possible. Because we all know those big time media outlets that actually play the game are usually pretty trash. So with that being said, some people feel like NBA Live 20 is done. There is no more NBA Live. EA Sports is done with that franchise. They want to go a different route, and there will not be an NBA Live 20. I don't necessarily feel that way. I feel like EA Sports is going to find a good way to promote NBA Live 20 this year because NBA Live 19's promotion was really good. Now it's all up to the gameplay, and I feel like they're going to nip that in the bud this year, finally. Now, I want to know from you guys, I'm going to leave a poll in the top right corner. Will EA Sports actually expand upon the one and other things, or will it still only display the one? at EA Play. For a lot of us, it's time for EA to put up or shut up, get rid of NBA Live if they're not going to take this franchise seriously. But will you guys actually be attending EA Play this year, or will you just be waiting for the gameplay to come out online, seeing that it's almost that time? It's definitely almost that time. Let me know. Comment below. Don't forget to dunk all over that like button, man. Subscribe. Check out my last videos. Yeah. And we out.